Hello folks, Sunday message from the Qatars. My name is Mina and today I would like to share with you the Ode to Joy. This is a poem written by the German poet Schiller and the young Beethoven was so impressed by it that he was inspired to compose the Ninth Symphony which is dedicated to the joy of brotherhood. Rejoice, you people, you are brothers. Be embraced, you millions. Rejoice. These are the lyrics of this song. It is a joy, a spiritual joy, an eternal joy. As Schiller said, a fiery spark from heaven. And it is the highest virtue in the Cathar tree of life. It is the summit, the top, after, um, after all the other virtues, because it defeats darkness. It shines with such a light that it expels uh, death, illness, dark thoughts, and it is triumphant. And this light of, the light of this joy we share when we accumulate it. How can we acquire this joy? How can we accumulate it? Because it's not just one moment. It requires a lot of efforts. We can find this after what we call holy passion. A state of loneliness, darkness, abandonment, uh, dark thoughts. When we overcome this state, we receive true joy because after the battle, after uh, the huge efforts, heroic deed to defeat, to uh, dispel this darkness, not to accept this attack, this evil thoughts, dark, darker thoughts that bring us into a state of separation from brothers and sisters, from our near ones. In our brotherhood, we can be in such a state, but because we have others, we are united with our brothers and sisters, they can give us the light of this joy to overcome our state of being in this desert, of being in the state of separation and loneliness and darkness. There was a man we visited recently in Madrid. He had cancer, had had cancer, and he looked everywhere for healing. He tried many remedies. He even flew all the way to Thailand to Buddhists to learn how to heal and it didn't help him. And then he discovered that uh, through his serving to others, he was um, serving, he was volunteering to others and this brought him such joy, such light that he, he was healed. He conquered his illness with the joy of serving with, with the light of this joy, because this joy gives energy, revives the energy of life. It is the energy of life. And with this thought, we would like to wish you this eternal joy in these dark times, which is needed. And we, when we accumulate it, we can pass it on to those around us, to our loved ones, to our neighbors. And may this joy defeat the darkness that reigns at this moment in time.